Hello again, I am Blunty. This is obviously VR, VR chat specifically. We're going to have a bit of a talk about uh, body motion in VR today, and specifically full body tracking, so you can have a nice, convincing, immersive experience in VR. Now, VR chat by default uses a thing called IK or inverse kinematics. So it uses what it knows about your head's attitude, your hand's location, and it tries to work out, you know, a decent approximation of how your body would be posed. It works with various levels of success because, well, most people who use VR these days are using the Quest 2. The Quest 3 is also about to launch. It uses a very similar tracking system, including a very similar way to track the controllers, that being the inside-out tracking. The headset itself tracks the location of the controllers. These rings have a bunch of infrared lights. You can't see them. Well, the camera might pick, pick them up. Can the camera see this? I don't know, I haven't tested that one on this camera. But these cameras can see the lights on the controllers, that's how it knows where they are. And that's also why you get issues when it can't see them anymore. There are motion trackers uh, in the controllers, so it can figure out the angle and sort of speed of motion, things like that, but it can't track location properly, and so you get weird, horrible things going on like that. And the Quest 3 is going to have a similar problem. Now, it's not a huge problem most of the time. A lot of people who spend a lot of time in VR are used to kind of seeing that freak out, and the body horrorness of it kind of wears off over time. First few times, it'll freak out a little bit, though. One of the ways around that is using a full body tracking system. So instead of just tracking the hands and the head, you track more all points on the body so you don't have to estimate the location of anything anymore you're actually tracking them so you might have tracking points on your elbows on your knees on your hip maybe on your feet as well and there are different kinds of tracking solutions for that a lot of people use the vive trackers even if they're not using the vive headset you can still use the trackers they're pretty expensive but they work really nicely they're tracked from the outside in so you've got to have the little lighthouses things pinned up around your room uh, and you've got to have these little pucks attached to your body but there are some newer solutions around as well which don't rely on outside tracking. Instead, they've got motion sensors a bit like these do have them, but they're a more sophisticated version of the motion tracking, so they can tell in what direction they're moving, how far, how fast, and using that, they can sort of track their location in real space. And there's a few of these solutions around. One of them is even open source. You can actually build these things yourself using off-the-shelf components, or you can buy pre-built units straight from them if you're sort of not particularly technically inclined. And both the hardware and software have been open source, so there's been a lot of progress made on those. Sony, the big company, Sony, uh, came out with their own recently called Mokopi, which is a very similar thing. Little, tiny little lightweight battery-powered pucks you slam on various points of your body and it tracks your movement. So whenever you're in VR chat and you see someone sort of, you know, taking a squat and it doesn't, yeah, <laughs> it doesn't freak out like this. Whoop, whoop. Or, you know, if they want to lean down here. Yeah, see, the, the, the VR chat IK doesn't know what to do with this. What if I lean to my side? No. What if I just lay down? Oh, I found the wall. Um, yeah, see, VR chat has no idea what to do with that. The IK is not that clever. Oh. Oh, I've got to make some dad noises. I am 45 years old. I am tubby. I've got a bad back and I've got a bad knee. You'll excuse the dad noises when I move around, particularly when I have to get up. <laughs> right? Sorry. But specifically, what inspired this video is a new one I've come across. It's still it's just testing, but it promises a full body tracking experience that is far more convincing than VRChat's default, but also doesn't rely on any hardware. It is a fancier version of IK to make smarter decisions about the kind of poses you are holding. Um, so I'm going to install that and we're going to give it a go. But first, let's do some, some basic poses here. A little T pose. Uh, can we do touch our head? Kind of, sort of. Okay, we'll stand on one leg, stand on the other leg. You've already seen me squat down and do that again just for reference. Squat and kneel. No, how about we? And that, have a lean. Uh, all right, so let's get this installed and we'll have a chat about it, shall we? All right. All right, there we go. We're installed. We're going to take a closer look at it in a minute. But yeah, installation was very straightforward. You download the software, you install the software. It installs as kind of a plug-in for Steam VR. Uh, you go into the Steam VR calibration settings for full body tracking, as you would for any tracker, and you do a little calibration dance, and away you go. And as you should be able to see down there in the corner there, that little window I usually hide for recording purposes for obvious reasons. It's very distracting, isn't it? Uh, yeah, you can see a whole bunch of other trackers there. And then you boot up something like VR Chat here. You do a little calibration dance again to make sure you're it's calibrated with VR Chat. So we do the calibration dance. We go flick. 
looking with it. Flick. And ah, oh, there we go. I don't know. It feels. It feels a little bit more natural. Again, the walk cycle could use a little bit of work, but everything else about it, the way it squats, the way we lie down, sort of, look at that. Much more natural sort of pose. It's not, again, perfectly reflecting my actual body, but it's a lot more convincing than the built-in stuff. Oh, God, my back. <laughs> Can I limp? Uh, holy shit, it actually does a reasonable, <laughs> it's pretty impressive. Again, we have kept up and say this. I know it doesn't look amazing, mind blowing, but this is early access. This is sort of step one. It is an ongoing process. And if it continues to get better, this is a pretty damn good option because it plugs into Steam directly. I mean, it's, again, as you can see down there on the bottom of the screen, right down there, Steam just thinks they're extra trackers. It doesn't know the difference. It's just, it's tricking Steam into thinking you've got full body tracking. So it'll work with any software that supports full body tracking. I, I tell you what else I'm hoping with the, with the Quest 3. Um, I'm hoping the hand tracking gets transposed to uh, uh, PC. You can do hand tracking in VRChat on the standalone version, but the standalone version of VRChat is very limited and the performance is kind of crap. And actually, you know what? Maybe the Quest 3 with its better performance will do a lot better with that. But yeah, it'd be nice to be able to track my fingers and hands properly as well, because the basic, you know, gestures that you can do on, uh, on avatars are fine, but if we're going to do motion estimation uh, for, for my body, or pose estimation, I guess we should call it, um, yeah, maybe something with the hands next would be handy, wouldn't it? <laughs> see what I did there? I'll apologize. I'll, I'll just see myself out. It's I'm just I'm going this way now. Anyway, hopefully this has been interesting or helpful for you. I think I'm going to keep using this thing. Um, and that's the other thing too. If you don't, you know, if you're using an application and it sort of wigs out a bit or you prefer not to use it for anything, you can just turn it off and leave it installed. You can turn it on and off at will. So, so there's, you know, really no downside. I mean, I guess the downside is you have to spend uh, some money on it, but... I don't know, if you spend a lot of time in VR, I think it might be worth it. Now, I'm, I think I'm going to go pop into some public worlds and see if people go, hey, what's up, what's, up with your, what's up with your body tracking? It doesn't look like regular body tracking. It doesn't look like the IK stuff. What's going on? And I'm going to go, I'm using this new app called Standable. Hashtag not an ad. I'm not getting any money for this or anything. But, you know, I'm just impressed with the ingenuity of it. So, anyway, thank you for watching. I am Blunt. Here you go to the patrons. Scrolling up above there. I couldn't find the same beach that I used for the first clip. For some reason, it wasn't in my recent worlds. That's, that's very annoying. But, you know, this one's lovely too. There's a lighthouse over there you can't see in this camera angle. Actually, you know, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. And that? Lighthouse. Nice, right?